Hello everybody, I'm Sapler from Sapler Creations and today I'm going to show you the basics of how to use Sony Vegas. As you can see I have Sony Vegas Pro 9.0 open with Dantane Gearbreaker channel which I thought was a great example to show you how to use Sony Vegas. Okay, to start off I'm going to show you the timeline. This is where you have your video and audio. This is pretty much your workspace in Sony Vegas. First I'm going to talk about is the video line. This is where you see all the visuals and everything of the video completely. Here you have motion blur and track motion, track effects, Odo Machian settings kinda of spell that wrong mute solo composing mode and this is the darkness level of the whole video this is the audio track here you have pretty much everything the same except you don't have composing mode instead you have arm for record and invert track face. This is the volume. This is the strength of the audio track. If you want it lower or if you want it higher or louder, that's your choice. People mostly use this if they want a lower track or a high track to kind of separate them. Pan center, I don't know what that is. That's for you to discover. Oh, over here we have the preview panel. This is where you look at the movie when you edit and keep track of what's happening in the movie while you edit. This is the preview audio where you take and see if it's get too high. When you're previewing, it's easy just to take down. This is a trimmer. It's uh, one of the biggest features in Sony Vegas, as I believe. Here you can take your own video and cut and clip and edit in many ways. I'm not fond of it, I haven't used it much. I simply use just a timeline to edit and stuff. But it's one way, if you, wanna, if you have many clips, you can need one on one clip on this trimmer. Okay, so now it's over to the presets. Or effects, as you may call it. This is the meta generators as checkboards, colored gradients, credit rolls, noise textures, prototype titlers, solid colors, text patterns normal text as I often use like over here Gearbreakers YouTube sound or shine I simply use a text tool it's pretty handy I don't know what a legacy plugin is text video factory text haven't used it sounds quite odd here we have the video effects like grain or noise which you can add to the video maybe make a maybe make a little bit more television like effect this is black and white black restore borders brightness and contrast broadcast colors bump map channel blind blend and many many more Down here you have the transactions. These are when you have two clips and you want something, a, gr a cool effect from the one clip to convert to the other clip, you can use a, trans a transaction to make it look a li little bit more stylish. I don't use them because I, s I think either normal, just normal plain transaction or a fade in is much better than using these. But that's for people to decide. That's only my style. Then you have like clockwise, cross effect, disevolve, 
Flash is actually a pretty neat one. Gradient Wipe, Iris, and plenty of more. So yeah, now we're gonna show you how to easily, or in my way, easily cut uh, these videos. Okay, so what I first wanna show you is how to split the video and audio. My video and audio is already split, so you can see that when I move the video, the audio does move with, with it. What you're going to do is to click the audio, which is linked to the audio, and press CTRL U, if I remember right. This sh should split the video and audio pl pretty nicely. I like to have it this way because if I just want to move both, I just CTR click. When I've selected the video, I CTR click the audio and I can easily move both. Now I'm going to show you some simple cutting. If you go down to place, let's say I want to cut up hair. You simply target the area and you press the button S and it's cut down. If I want to remove, let's say, this area, I simply choose on the second clip where I want the, the part I want to delete, deleted, and I press S again. Now you can see I have three movie movie parts from that one clip. I simply target that part I want to, I want away and press delete. Now I can simply move this part over here and that part is deleted. This is one of the way I or at least the one way I thought was the best and I think it's pretty simple. Another thing I'm going to show you guys right now is the effect that's called fade. So to fade out or fade in you're going to see that rectangle, that triangle lip arch on top of the videos. You're going to hold over there and you see fade offset. You want to click and drag. Here you can now see that it's going to fade. Right, like that. You can also fade out by targeting the end of the video and drag. The same goes for audio, both ways. Another thing you can do if you want a crossover effect in Fade, you can click the end one, one of the ends, and drag it over the other video like this, and you get a nice crossover effect. Okay, now I can show you something that's pretty handy for most people. It's how to speed up and slow down a movie. Let's say I want this part slower. If I want it slower, all I do is holding this on the end of the video and press CTRL and click. Then you can drag to make it much more slower or much faster by simply going closer to the video is faster the so longer it is it's quite slower you can see how slower and faster it gets by those zigzags on the video this one already has plenty of those zigzags since it's already a very speed up movie okay so we seems done this was a basic tutorial i hope everything i said and showed you was to great help for you to increase your experience with this program i hope you enjoyed the video if there's any questions just comment down in the comment section below if there's any qua if there's any requests for new tutorials just also comment please rate this video and subscribe i really hope you enjoyed this video sapler out sapler creations dot net